Hello. Um, we're not gonna have a formal opening right now. Um, I decided to do this very, um, last second. This is because, uh, I've been waiting for a second to talk about this individual. Um, as they are... How should I put this? There is no way to put this. Um, we'll just watch the video and let that speak for itself. Now, I decided to make the video uh, 2 minutes 39 seconds in, um, where a where a piece of video has been inserted. Um, I don't know who is speaking, uh, but I decided to stop the video and make this video. So we're going to go all the way back and we're going to um, we're going to start from the very beginning here. Okay? Joshua Von Noctis, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. The world has changed much since I last uploaded a video blog. Murder, riots, chaos, war. Ryan Abrahamic, I would be convinced that the four horsemen are running through the countryside. Okay, um, so right here we have him starting up and fear-mongering and saying that everything is absolutely going to shit. Now, are things going to shit? Um, arguably, uh, but things are actually getting better, um, in most cases. So, he brings up a bunch of things, including war, um, riots, racism, da -da, all, all that. And while those things are not solved, um, they are at least, um, getting better. And especially with COVID, um, of which he uh, thinks is fake... Uh, or at least thinks is unscientific and un-American to wear a mask, which is completely the opposite of the message that we should be um, promoting. Absolutely, um, he's wrong. It's not the end times. And to fearmonger like this is just absolutely just dumb. It makes no sense. The madness that has engulfed Western civilization has manifested into destruction of homes, businesses, and emergency response units. So I believe this is in relation to COVID and him saying that the shutdown has been disruptive in the economy and people getting their places of work shut down and businesses shut down and uh, and and how that really hurt all of them. I agree. This is extremely tragic and what could have been done to prevent um, these constant closures, and uh, at least in my state, right now it's open, uh, but we might see another closure, who knows, because people don't want to get vaccinated like him. Um, if these... If we actually had things that he doesn't like, such as um, a healthcare system that, you know, was healthy to everyone, we would have a better response than thinking oh, let's worry about capitalism, let's worry about the corporations, let's worry about their bottom line, rather than the well-being and health of everyone. And we just could have shut down, been there for maybe a month or two, um, take New Zealand, take Cuba, take all these other places. We could have did that, but instead, we didn't. And instead, we op half closed, half open, and half closed, half open, full closed, all open, half closed, all open now, it's all over the place because we just never picked one and stuck with it. We we tried to hold both doors and we got slammed by both. So, um, if he's talking about the riots and stuff again, that's... Are they happening still? Yes, riots will always happen. But if he's talking about are they happening now, not so much. Humanity burns and the world watches as chaos marches on. I don't think that's chaos. Um, that would be... That's people wanting to be treated equally. Something that I am sure he knows nothing about, as he <laughs> banned me for doing nothing on his server except for talking to him and disagreeing. Which, you know, fantastic. I'm sure he will not find this video. Although I would like if he would and actually listen to it. Book ideology has become ingrained in every part of our culture. Whether through fear or force, every aspect of our lives has become buried with wokeness. 
Yeah, see, right wingers never define what wokeness is, and he's not going to define it. Um, like I said, I've already watched a little bit. Um, he just says, "Oh, everything is either wokeness or it's gone and it's dissenting." Which, like, yes, in the eyes of woke uh, wokeness, whatever that would be, yes. But what even is wokeness? I mean, if it's just the view of of a right winger that wokeness is what is correct, then that would still apply even to this. It means nothing. He's saying nothing. And any idea to the contrary is immediately stamped out. As destroyed several subcultures, groups, most importantly, faiths. Okay, so his claim here is that wokeness will, or has, I, I, I guess both, destroyed faiths, cultures... And, and just that kind of thing. I don't remember the third thing. Um, that's not true. I can't think of one that's been... Again, I think he's just demonizing the left here, so let me just say, I don't think the left overall is trying to go for, like, black culture and remove black culture. I mean, that seems like that's something that white supremacists, such as this lovely man on the screen, is trying to do. Um by absorbing it and then claiming that it's his. Um, so, I mean, we, we gotta, we gotta take what he says and understand that this is, this is nothing. Like, th there is nothing to this. He would need to provide examples of what is being destroyed or taken over or removed. These things largely are coming from his own side. Um, there's even a screenshot in his server. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, there's a screenshot in his server that actually has him being told... Hold on, where is it? Okay. Let's see if I can download this real quick. Sorry. I'm trying to not... Yeah, okay, we found it, found it. So, there's a screenshot he posted in his server. And if you read it, what are you getting at? Proof that the, that Yahweh is evil. You and your Abrahamic brethren literally terrified and killed massive amounts of people. Again, I don't disagree with Josh. How you framed it, the Lord of evil, I, I whatever. Um, you mean to tell me that you're the good guys, a source that we can cure your diseased the better. So I don't, I wouldn't have worded anything like that that's way too aggressive, um, even for a debate server. Um, and the person said in response, I see nothing wrong with killing people who are not part of my faith. And that is from someone else that is not from Josh, that is directed to Josh. And then there's another blocked message. Um, and then from the same person, there is the statement, I have never had a personal vendetta. I only hate non-whites because they're not like me. These are the people he surrounds himself with. And while I'm sorry that he's received a death threat, and I really hope he wouldn't be in any danger, um... You know, someone like myself would be able to get not only his personal information, but where he lives and his job and all this stuff, which I totally don't have. Um, but, it, like, this is this is ridiculous. Like, he he really thinks that the like this is an example of what I literally just said is that th these are these are his people. This is a server that he regulars. He's on the right hand side, all the way over here. Look. Look, it's over here. It's he's literally a regular in the screenshot. He these are the people he surrounds himself with. And if that's the people you surround yourself with, no wonder people like myself are going to call you a white supremacist because you are. And I don't think that's outlandish. I absolutely think that he's a crypto. And for reasons why, I mean, we can go over that um in another video. I'm just going over the content that he's putting out here. But I have a lot of problems with him. 
and it would take a long time to go over all of the issues that I've encountered with um, Josh here. My video today is on my religion, Kemeticism, also known as Kemetic Paganism. I'm not going to say he can't say that this is his religion, but pretty loose term of the religion there. And the groups that seek to transform and mutate our religion into something that would be twisted and unrecognizable. I agree, actually, on this, Josh. Um, there are people who will love to completely rip the religion out from under people such as ourselves who would like to use it. I'm referring to you as a comedic. You also understand um, that in comedic times, um, in ancient times, there was gay people and they were generally accepted. I also think you know that there are people who like to mistranslate the 42 statements of Ma'at, the negative confessions. And I think you also know that a lot of Christians or Afrocentric people try to make it so that some of them are anti-gay sentiments. And as a gay man yourself that you claim, I think that you should understand that those are not correct interpretations and they're trying to perverse the view. Now, that's not saying anything on your interpretation quite yet, but you have shown that not only do you actually want to hate and cause issues with people, but that you would like the white race to be elevated among others even though you are claiming a primarily brown-black religion from Egypt, where there are Nubians who were kings and queens. And you need to be very careful when you tread those waters, and you do not hide it at all. If you are trying to be crypto like, you, like I believe you are, you are doing an awful job. Continue being awful at it. These people seek to corrupt our faith through the guise of social justice. There's nothing wrong with social justice, uh, such as, as you quoted, um, same thing with wokeness. Social justice, however, is a very simple idea of saying that people should be treated equally and that there should be justice. And I think you should understand that when someone says social justice, they just mean justice in a social setting. That's it. And ma'at is justice, truth, and honor. It, it is something to uphold to. It is justice. So when you say that ma'at is not, is not this, and that social justice is not ma'at, you are literally going against the definition that we both agree on. You don't know what you're saying, and you look like an idiot. For those unaware, though I doubt there are many, social justice is the process of demonization through victimization, in which... Demonization through victimization. Who is being demonized? Who? Is it white people? Are white people being demonized? No, not really. Um, there are some people that are racist um, who say that all white people are evil or something, or white people are stupid or whatever else. Um, I've encountered that in my own personal circles, but I've encountered it as a joke. They don't actually think all white people are stupid or something. They're just having fun because it's a joke because people like you think that they think this. So they say it in their own, in their own circles. And if you're saying that black people are victimized and demonized, then yeah, that's still wrong, but that wouldn't be social justice. That would be racism. 
So you're either defining something that isn't social justice or you're defining racism. I, I, I'm just, I, I don't know who you think is being victimized here. He's not even bringing up critical race theory or anything else like this. I, I don't know what he's trying to get across here and his definition is really strange. Which a larger group is vilified by another group for the crimes and actions of a smaller group. These individuals are, use fear, manipulation, violence, and extortion in order to force an individual or group to change their way of thinking to one that suits them. Wow, that just perfectly, perfectly is projection. L l let's replay that, just, just so you can hear it. These individuals are, use fear. Okay, here it is. These individuals use fear. Manipulation. Manipulation. He's he's already fear mongered. He's already trying to redefine words that fit his criterion and his worldview. Violence and violence. He has called for the death of people in his server, including myself. Extortion in order to force and extortion, which um I haven't gotten from him yet. Um, but I'm sure uh <laughs> if we're going down the line and he's in every single one except for that, well. I have a feeling we're going to get there eventually. An individual or group change their way of thinking to one that suits them. You see this in modern day times as feminism. L feminism. I, I don't think feminism has harmed or extorted people on large mass. Um, there are individuals who are malicious who do the, who do those things for bad reasons, but one individual doing something doesn't mean the whole group should necessarily be taken aback. He's about to say LGBT as well, which that that's just ridiculous. Again, these these people, um, such as myself and him, uh, uh, apparently, um, want or should want equal rights, but he thinks he already has equal rights. Um, I know I do not. I have to still fight for some rights and I might not get them and that's a shame because I have to worry about my safety my well-being and I have to worry that I I will be able to keep two partners and maybe or maybe not marry them I don't even have that choice and for him to say that these people are extorting, they are doing this, doing that, no. There needs to be some kind of pushback to the norm for there to be change. Doesn't matter which group we're talking about here. He thinks that any kind of pushback of the norm is bad. But that's not always the case. LGBT and the black supremacy movement known as Black Lives Matter. <laughs> he thinks Black Lives Matter is a supremacy group. Oh, that's great. Um, so, Josh, let me tell you. Uh, if white men were gunned down for being white, for not doing anything, just literally just for being white, like, no other reason, quite literally, they're just dead because they're white, and you had this en masse, and, and this doesn't happen to black people, you don't think that starting a movement called white lives matter or whatever else like unironically like if if the situations were reversed you don't think for one second that that should be a thing that we should say hey this is a, something that affects us and we need we need to be heard when especially this is a minority right <laughs> you and me uh, on the same religion here assuming we are we're minorities. We don't have that giant say that Christians would have. We have very little. We have less than the atheists and the agnostics, however you want to categorize people. We have less than even them. How are you going to say anything about that? How can you condemn a minority for saying that we're being persecuted versus this other minority being persecuted? You're a hypocrite. You, you're just a hypocrite. 
folks from these groups and others have pushed themselves into religion and tried to make it conform to their viewpoints, with such ideas as white guilt, stopping male supremacy. Okay, I gotta stop here. Okay, white guilt. Throughout all of our interactions, Josh, we have never discussed white guilt. Never. Like, there, there is literally not a time that you have talked to me that I have mentioned it. You may have mentioned it at some point, but we've never even discussed it. Like, this is ridiculous, dude. Like, I, what do you think white guilt is? It's a term that is poorly defined, um, much like toxic, toxic masculinity, which, again, I still don't like using that term, but the thing itself is real and is a thing, and it, it's actually terrible. Um, but white guilt shouldn't be a thing. I actually would agree. Um, I think that if you aren't doing anything to help your fellow human being, Josh, black or white, if you are not helping them and listening to them and saying, hey, what is going on that I could help you and maybe in the future you help me, but I'm not expecting help right now. I just want to see what I can do to you. Can can we create a better world? That's ultimately what Ma'at come down, comes down to. Can we build a better world? And Josh, you don't want to do that. You just want to sit here on your high horse and say, look, white, oh, there's this thing where people sometimes feel bad about being white. Yeah, people shouldn't be, feel bad about being white. People shouldn't feel bad about being black. But you should also face reality. You should face reality in that you, unless you're helping, you're hurting. And if you are not helping, you are hurting. And if you're hurting, you can be conceived as racist. You have to come to terms that you have to do something. If you have money, you're rich. Money isn't an object to you. And you could help a homeless person, get them food, buy them food, do something to improve their life. Even if it's just a meal. You are a bad person if you don't do that. And people can hold me to my word. Once I am financially stable, I will give to people I see. I will give them cash. I will help them out. Especially if they are pagan. And if they are particularly someone who is in my position. Where they are less off. If they are worse off. I want to help my fellow man. I don't care if they're straight. If they're gay. If they're black. If they're white. I don't care. I want to help everyone. And if people feel bad for being white because I'm going to explain that racism is a thing, then that's just collateral damage, Josh. With such ideas as white guilt, stopping male supremacy. Stopping male supremacy? Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what he means by that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think males or females should be necessarily in control. I think they should be uh, as they were in ancient times, uh, where they can be either separate but equal or just equal. I don't see why we have to make this a issue, Josh. It's how it was back then. I don't know what you're alluding to. Transgenderism is natural. Gendenderism is natural, and you're a terrible person for saying that it is Isfet and it is of the serpent. And I think you're of the serpent because you constantly will tell these people right to their face that I hate you, but I don't want you to leave my server because that would be bad. Um, like, how condescending do you have to be? Oh, I don't, I don't like that you're male, so I'm just gonna say that you shouldn't be in my server, and I hate you for that, but don't leave the server. Like, how, how ridiculous and stupidly condescending you are, that you think that people would choose to go out of their way to, to be transgender, to be gay, for example. It's, it's, it's an equivalent. Now, I am not trans. Um, I've been close with some trans people uh, in my past and currently, but 
it is not a choice, and a lot of times it's very, very, very hard for these people. And I will always support them. And you just gotta say trans rights. But Josh, you won't do that, because you're a bigot. And you're also a racist. But we can go over that throughout the video. I'm sure we have way more than enough time. And at times, it's okay to have sex with kids. No one ever says this. No one ever says this except for pedophiles. And I hate pedophiles. Okay? Let me just put that out there. No matter what, pedophile's bad. Okay? That will never change. Having sex with kids, bad. No matter what. Period. Bad. Bad. Okay? No one is saying that, Josh. Because the people that say that are bigots like you who think that, oh, because someone's gay, oh, we shouldn't trust them around kids. Which is, again, funny because you claim to be gay. You, you honestly, like, I, again, I say claim because I'm not actually sure. And I don't want to put doubt on you and say that you're ungenuine in, in your sexuality. I'm very comfortable in my sexuality and saying that I'm bi. And that um, I've explored. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm comfortable if you said, oh, allegedly he's bi or something. Whatever. Cool. But I'm consistent. And I try to be consistent. If I'm not, then I would love for people to point that out. But, dude, come on. You and I both know that this is just fear-mongering. Right. In yeah. a, any other area of medicine, a doctor makes that. They say, hold on, I know you think you need, you know, whatever, an opioid, but just relax. Let's see what you're, you know, I mean, that's... You know, effectively, what you know, what facilitated the opioid crisis? Doctors just handing over the prescription pad, and we're seeing that right now with anybody who claims to have gender dysphoria. You don't need gender dysphoria to get this. You have to go through a psycho psych evaluation. This is not something that doctors just hand out. By the way, holy crap! Whoever this person is is stupid and wrong. They get it. They, they self-diagnose. They say, no. no, you can't do that. You cannot self-diagnose. You can claim whatever you want online. Everyone can claim to be depressed online. That doesn't mean everyone's depressed. Same thing with, with, with trans people and gay people and straight people, whatever. It doesn't matter. But th this is wrong. You can't do this. No, no, no. I know it's my problem. They don't have a mental health professional who says. Yes, they do. Holy crap, this is where I stopped before. Yes, they do. They do. You have to have one. As someone who has experienced going through all of this with another person, yes, you do. You have to actually go through a waiting period. A waiting period after they've been approved. There's still a waiting period. That's how long this stuff takes. And this is after they're already 21. They were older than 21, and they still had to go through a psych evaluation, waiting, 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 doctor's approval, and then after one or two months, they got their prescription finally filled. It was over a year. I mean, it was, it took forever. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. You have very high anxiety, depression. You have a lot of other mental health stuff going on. Let's deal with that first. Any this is why they require... A mental evaluation whoever this person is has never actually like gone through this or heard any stories this is stupid this is ridiculous no one does this any therapist who dares to say that might violate one of the 19 conversion therapy laws we now have in 19 different states there's 19 conversion I think it's 19 therapy. yeah it has nothing to do with conversion therapy yeah, which bans conversion, so-called conversion therapy, even on gender identity, which means that therapists could lose their license if they say, hold on, I know you want to transition. I know you think your problem is gender dysphoria. Let's talk about some of your other problems. Kemeticism is simply the worship of the ancient Egyptian deities. Also. Yeah, more or less. Um, it's a bit more nuanced than that. Um, there's Hika, there's Kemeticism. Um... They, they kind of, they're, they're different, but the same, and yeah, it's complicated. But, I mean, it's it's more than just worship. It would be veneration um, and a lot of other stuff like that. Isn't that true? We have no political adherence. 
arguably you're correct uh, that they don't have any political adherence. But even back in the day, it was still a political matter. And it still will be today. I just think that you have no basis for any of this. We have no central holy book, but we all follow a code known as Ma'at. I agree, we don't have any central holy book. Um, although we do have uh, a lot of different books and a lot of different scripts that we can read off and we can glean different ideas and philosophies from them, even though they're from different periods. So we can kind of go through and read and understand and enjoy what there actually was and was written. Um, now for the Code of Ma'at, I think we actually agreed on them. But I don't think you understand them. Well, it does not have a direct English translation, it is often translated as truth, justice, and that which is right. Again, we agree. And I don't think you're dumb. I don't think you're malicious. I just think that you need to really understand that while there might not be um, a good direct translation, we can cross-reference things. And we can understand what they meant. If not perfectly, we can gleam the understanding or the spirit of the law, which I'm sure you will ignore. We are considered a religion under the banner of paganism. In re I, more or less. I mean, that depends on the person. He's not wrong, but he's also not right. It doesn't really matter if you consider yourself pagan and comedic, or just comedic. I, I just say I'm comedic because the word pagan has different connotations and images and all this. It, it doesn't really matter too much. In recent times, I have been in mental fisticuffs with a group known as Comedic Reform. This group is led by a woman named Sharon Laborde. And Sharon knows a lot more than you. She knows a lot more than me. She knows a lot more than most people. And she's a wonderful lady. And while I might not personally know her, saying that you are fighting fisticuffs with us, and I'm saying us as in they're part of my community, I'm, I'm not a leader, I'm not a representative or anything. The reason that you were fighting with us was because you and I had a disagreement about politics. And as you said, religion has nothing to do with politics. So, Sharon told you, you, you Sharon, the leader you just said, told you and me, both of you cut it out and do not talk about politics. This is done. This is over. Do not bring it up anymore. I don't want any more fighting. I agreed. You agreed. We both agreed. For whatever reason, the almost the next day, you start posting about how transgenderism is evil and a scourge on reality. And, and it's how it's eat, how it's is fed and all this stuff. And you got reprimanded by the mod, told to cut it out. Nothing actually happened to you. And you ran away like a little pussy. And I have no problem calling you a pussy because you will not engage with me because you have no credibility as a human being and you're spineless. You stand for nothing except bigotry and hatred. And if you ever do want to have an intellectual discussion, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Contact me. Unblock me. Go ahead. Talk to me. And I or you or however you want to do this, we can find a moderator or someone who we both think is impartial and we can intellectually duke it out for as long as we want or however much we want to go for okay but you have no idea what you're talking about and i would love for you to debate me i i want to see how far you can go with these ideas 
I mean, COVID denial is amazing. I have no idea how people come to those conclusions. Years ago, when I was trying to find other comedics, I stumbled upon her form and YouTube channel, Comedic Independent. At first, I was really glad that I found somebody who served the gods, like I did. However, as the years went by and I became more acquainted with her work, I began to notice a disturbing trend. She became more leftist over time, first showing her disdain for President Trump against Hillary, then her support for feminism, social justice, and Black Lives Matter. She never came out and actually supported those things. She was forced by you, in particular, and other people who were really, like, following you, to go and decide what to do. She had to understand that either she is going to side with you, a grifter, who is trying to get people and recruit people into their server that you solely own and make very apparent on your server that you own it and you will never give anyone mod. No one's mod on your server except for you. And that you want to control everything. And I don't know if that's some insecurity you have or you just simply don't know how to run anything, but she doesn't exclusively support these things when she came out and said that she supported furries it's because you said that they should be killed as people and you joked about it on your server about killing people you said that they were pedophiles and that they were bestial they, they practiced bestiality And again, while there could be one sick, twisted, disgusting individual who does that, that says nothing about the whole group. That's the same thing with, with any group. If it's just an outlier, you cannot paint the whole group that way. It, it's just disgusting. It's, it's abominable. And as for Black Lives Matter, she has said basically nothing. I, I don't know where you got all this. I think it's because she kicked you out and you're mad and you're, again, being a pussy. But at least you actually made something about it. Then what tore me from this false bond of trust was her announcement and acceptance of transgenders, gender fluid people, the furry subculture and wokeness at one point okay she never said anything about wokeness and yes she did defend trans people and say that you should leave them alone and stop telling them that they are evil like this is again this equivalent of saying hey leave these gay people alone they're not evil they're just gay like I, are you stupid I mean, I already know that answer, but come on, man. You know better. We both know better. You are mad that you got kicked. Point in this announcement video, she said that she saw no difference between furries and us worshiping the deities that come to us, sometimes in anthropomorphic forms. To our dumbfoundedness, Sharon had jumped off the cliff of leftism, and we could only watch in awe. Now, frankly, as a pagan who worships deities that manifest in hybrid animal forms, I see no reason to criticize anyone who's a furry. Now, I went to Texas Furry Fiesta in January of 2019 because I wanted to see what the scene was all about. I wanted to, to learn more about it. And I have to tell you, it was a great convention, and there were some incredibly creative and talented people at this convention. I decided then and there that if whenever this temple gets to a point where we need an Anubis mask or if we get fortunate enough to put on a production of the Triumph of Horus and we need Horus and Jehuti masks I can I'm commissioning a furry artist to do them because those are some really talented and really phenomenal artists what's wrong with that she's just saying that 
and again, with the part you cut was her refuting you and saying, look, they don't, they're not bad people. Stop demonizing them. And again, she's just saying, look, they're talented. And I would like to use that talent for something that we can all benefit from. But you don't want to see that. Surprisingly, her members started following suit. Though some of those people were already leftists beforehand, they had no problem jumping off said cliff and moving a few points more to the left. Yeah, and it seems that you've gone completely off the right-wing loony cliff. So, look, if we want to do that, then I can play at that game. But I don't want to say that, because I think you are at heart a rational person. I want to believe there's something still left in you, and you can eventually form a spine, Josh. Only a few balked with this mafia and lunacy and retreated into the hills. We were shattered, torn apart, and scattered to the winds. A gun- <laughs> Are you overly dramatic much? You got kicked from the chat room, dude. I did our faith had proven itself fraudulent, and in that cold realization, we recognized a hidden truth. Fraudulent? No. The- No, no one has disowned you, Josh. Like, even in this video, I mean, I've said that I, I will entertain that you are a comedic. I have no problem even saying that you could very well be comedic, and I have no reason to doubt you. I might disagree with you to the extremist degree, but I will never stoop to the low that you stoop to when you said me and Celery were activists first and comedic second. That was disgusting. And you know that, because you completely said that we weren't comedics at all. You insinuated that. And that's the most disgusting thing you could have possibly said. But I'm still willing to talk to you, because I'm a man, and I have a spine. And this is a call-out, but you won't talk to me, because you don't have a spine. Sharon was no more a follower of the gods than a tool of Marxist ideology. Calling Sharon a Marxist is ridiculous. I don't even know her political affiliations, and you're claiming to know them somehow? If anything, when she does comment on her religious forums and information, she will say things along the lines of, let's not talk about it. Which is what she did with you and me. Because... While these things might inform one another, trying to have someone convert or support one view is not cool in either front. But you're doing it here, so I mean, I feel it's completely fine to explain where you're wrong. A lot of us retreated from our public personas and into our private homes. We felt betrayed, confused. Some of us began to think that we did something wrong. You did. You explicitly, explicitly, after being asked to drop a topic by the owner, explicitly, immediately after, it went on a tangent, a, a, a rant about how certain people are not even human. Of course you did something wrong. You should think that way. But the overly dramatic we, I mean, on your server, there's three people that talk there, including you. It's a group chat. It's not even a server. Go cry. Blame was tossed around. Feelings were hurt and shouting could be heard for miles. Until finally, I stood up and told everyone to stop. No one here was to blame. What? No, you had this whole tangent on your server and hissy fit about how, oh, real mutt is about, like, <laughs> I don't know, you, you said some whole crypto stuff about, like, W, like, Warhammer and, like, Kemeticism and you Christianized Kemeticism really hard. It was really weird. I mean, I, again, I don't think, I mean, you, you have a disdain for Christianity, so. I don't know why you were trying to Christianize it. It was very weird. I, I know it was a joke, but it was still really weird. Sharon and her group had made their choice. 
There was nothing we could do to change that, change the past. Yes, because you literally forced her to make a choice. The only thing we could do was move forward. Every one of us had been a practitioner of kemeticism before we met Sharon, though to say she didn't sully our faith would be a lie. Cries of rebellion could be heard with... She's no Connor. She didn't sell you your faith. And you shouldn't be so reliant on one person. Again, I like her content. And I like her personality. And I like her community. But I read more than Sharon. I read Egyptologists' work. I read academic papers that are really boring. I, like... If you're only using Sharon or think that Sharon is some prophet, you're doing it wrong. Then our small group and two people step forward. One, a storm chaser. The other, a traveler and a painter. Why do you not start your own tradition, Josh? We'll back you up. My reply was simple, but enlightening. I would go against the point. Kemeticism is our faith. Not comedic reform, not comedic orthodoxy, just comedic. Our religion is not a social justice platform, nor should it be used as one. We are all comedic. Marxism has no place in comedicism. Look. Look. I don't care if you think that. You can keep that to yourself. But everything that you seem to do or post involves politics. And while I might get slightly invested in politics here and there, I mostly try to go for religion and religious topics that have nothing to do with politics. But you wouldn't know that because you don't actually probably watch any of my content. Although if you are watching this and you're not Josh, fantastic. You probably know that I have nothing to do with that. I absolutely love just talking about religion. What has Josh done? Nothing. Hell, he's deleted most of his videos because they get taken down uh, and, and flagged. And basically, as, as he states it, he gets a lot of hate mail from it. And I wonder why. Creating another tradition will just be seen as a war of tradition versus tradition. Instead, make Marxism impossible. Act with Ma'at and tell the charlatans to fuck off. Our religion is not a toy. It is ours and ours alone. Nope. Oh, I agree. It, it is. And you need to fuck off. You need to get out. Right? If if we're going to play this game where you're going to disown comedics such as myself who are actually doing something, where you sit on your ass and do nothing, read nothing, understand nothing, then you need to get out because you are a charlatan. Don't come at me or at other people who are actually doing the work that you refuse to do and understanding and having a relationship with the gods. I have no issue with you calling yourself a comedic, but you constantly go after others because you have insecurities and you project yourself. Shut up and put up. Comedic can be a Marxist. No follower of the Netru can claim Marxist belief are humane and sound. History has already shown communism to be horrible. While that could be true, and I am not a communist, for the record, I would like to say that I do support a lot of socialist policies. I don't know what I would classify myself because I'm not very invested in politics, even though Josh thinks I might be. <laughs> I'm really not. And I don't understand where he's saying that these things could be bad. I mean... While I would hate it, I think Josh, whether he is or is not a fascist, even if he was, I would have no problem with him saying he's a comedic. That might actually be true. There's nothing wrong with that. I would just hate it. And just like how he can hate, uh, he can hate communists and them being someone being communist and comedic, but he doesn't think they'd be comedics, which is a weird gatekeeping thing. The amount of bodies piled up in the name of communism is absurd. I ended my reply there. Everyone present came to the same conclusion. Comedicism was our religion, not one dictated by Marxists, but by those who followed the faith. 
A couple of people lost their nerves and left, feeling guilt and ashamed for not being on Sharon's side and embracing Marxism. At that moment, we agreed to band together. Through thick and thin, our goal was clear, to uphold my aunt and let the world know who we really are. You have three people who talk in your server, and I'm going to check, but I think one isn't even a comedic. Let me, let me check real quick here. I want to be sure I'm not not wrong. One is a comedic. I do know that. Okay, no, they're both, they're, one's a comedic Wiccan. Okay, so the other one's, so they're both comedic. Okay, so you, you have like three people who talk to you. Uh, you, oh, sorry, you have two people who talk to you, and, and both of them are comedics, and one arguably is questionable because they are a eclectic, and they're a Wiccan. And again, I have no problems with these people, I'm just saying, in your view, your gatekeepy view, might not work, so, yeah. Thank you all for listening. Um, I've been planning to do this video for a very long time, and I finally have been able to get around to doing it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below, or follow us on the Comedic Community server over on Discord. Um, we don't tolerate leftist activism there, we don't tolerate activism of any kind there, and we don't elect- <laughs> Except your own. Except your own. Because you, you completely banned me. Uh, even though you had a whole rule saying freedom of speech, and then you completely rewrote those rules once I was banned. Oh, it's a shame. You can't engage with me anymore. Well, Marxists thought to um, propagate over there either. So if you need a safe haven from the harsh reality of a Marxist world, stop them. If the world was Marxist... Whatever that means, I think he just means, like, socialist. If the world was, especially America with your nice American flag in the back there. By the way, pretty cool, man. Um, if it actually was, we would have a lot of social programs and we would be a lot cooler than, uh, than what we are. And our COVID response wouldn't be as bad as it was before. And a whole bunch of other things. Um, but, let, again, I'm not even going into that. I'm just saying, look, like... To me, that would be a better world, and we're clearly in a capitalist system, and we're not in a Marxist world, so I don't know what the hell you're even talking about. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. Bye bye. Bye bye. In the meantime, this is Joshua von Noctis, and I wish you all some Neptune. Ah! Oh, Lord! Your audio mixing is awful, and you need to fix that. Um, the beginning and end are extremely loud. Alright, well, anyway. That was my rebuttal uh, on this. So. If y'all would like, uh, you could either share this video with him, uh, or you could go and... I don't know. Uh, tell me what I may have gotten right or gotten wrong in the comment section. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.